Hello and welcome to the channel Unique Perspective. A movie can be outlawed in a variety of ways, from restricting importation to regulatory boards refusing certification to the rare case of viewing or possessing the film being a crime. Today, we'll show you some of the most famous movies that were banned for various reasons. So, tune in to channel Unique Perspective. Ah, the spoiler of my child! The film's graphic depiction of violence, sexuality, and religion sparked a harsh backlash from the film's censors, and as a result, it was given an X rating when it was first released in both the United Kingdom and the United States. It was severely censored before being shown in some countries, while others outright forbade its release. Despite the fact that the film's explicit nature caused the majority of reviewers to dismiss it, it was awarded the prize for Best Director at the 33rd Venice International Film Festival as well as from the National Board of Review in the United States. Although a restored version of The Devil's Director's Cut was shown in theaters for the first time in the United Kingdom in the year 2002, this version has not been made officially available on home media. Additionally, releases of edited versions of the film on DVD and streaming services continue to be limited. Right. The director of Cannibal Holocaust was arrested for murder. Cannibal Holocaust is a film within a film about a vanished film crew that is supposed to be real. Animal deaths on screen made human character deaths more believable. To keep the illusion going, the actors' contracts prohibited them from appearing in any other films, TV shows, or advertisements for a year. Due to the realism of Cannibal Holocaust, Italian authorities arrested director Ruggiero Deodato on obscenity and snuff film charges following its February 1980 Milan premiere. Because the actors appeared to have vanished, Deodato's defense had to be strong. To avoid prison, Deodato displayed behind-the-scenes photos, special effects, and movie actors. The film was banned in Italy, Australia, Norway, Finland, and New Zealand due to real-life animal slaughters. The film was censored in the United Kingdom and seized by Australian customs. Hostel's depiction of Europe as a depraved tourist death mixer offended many Europeans, but Ukraine banned it. Hostel and its sequel were banned for showing tourists being tortured for money. After cuts to its most violent and graphic scenes, Malaysia and Singapore ban Hostel, Part 2 Uncut. After a Serbian film was banned in Spain, the director of a film festival was charged, later dropped, with child pornography for showing the film. The film's director, Sir John Spasojevic, said those prosecutors have no clue what child pornography actually means and that the sequences weren't made to be arousing in any way, but to depict the pure horror and brutality of innocence being ruthlessly defiled. The film's most shocking scenes include the rape and murder of a newborn, sex with corpses, and the protagonist being tricked into sexually assaulting his own child. It's no surprise that it's been banned in Germany, Norway, Brazil, Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, Spain, and Singapore. Countries that eventually released it usually required censorship and cuts. Mikey was banned because it came out at a bad time, not because it broke too many rules or showed too much blood. This is an example of how a real-life tragedy can change how people see art. Mikey is a movie about an adopted boy who grows up to be a sadistic serial killer. This movie was banned in the UK after James Bulger, 3, was killed by two 10-year-olds in 1993. The real-life crime was apparently so shocking that Mikey was thought to be guilty just because he was around it. In the decades that followed, it's interesting to note that the ban on Mikey was never lifted. The movie still can't be shown in public, but the BBFC says that doesn't mean it's banned forever, it just needs to be reviewed again. For one reason or another, it has never been, so the movie is an illegal gray area. Due to the fact that the British censors were unable to reach a conclusion regarding the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 
they decided to place a ban on the film after one year and did not remove the ban until the late 1990s. Countries such as Brazil, Chile, Finland, France, Iceland, Ireland, Norway, Singapore, Sweden, Ukraine, and West Germany all made attempts to have the low-budget horror film declared illegal in their respective countries. The 1986 sequel was declared illegal in Australia for a period of 20 years, and authorities conducted raids on home video stores that sold pirated copies of the film. The United Kingdom once again demanded that 20 to 25 minutes of footage be cut before certifying the film and Germany and Singapore both temporarily banned the film. <laughs> the film was rejected for cinema by the BBFC in 1976 and a private showing of the uncut version at the Old Compton Cinema Club in London Soho resulted in a police raid and confiscation of the movie. The film was finally passed completely uncut for cinema and video in the UK in December 2000. It was banned in Australia for 18 years before being resubmitted for classification with the Office of Film and Literature in December 1992. It was then banned again by the full board of classifiers. The film follows four wealthy, corrupt Italian libertines in the fascist Republic of Salo. Libertines kidnap 18 teenagers and torture them for four months. The story is in four segments, inspired by Dante's Divine Comedy. The film addresses political corruption, consumerism, authoritarianism, nihilism, morality, capitalism, totalitarianism, sadism, sexuality, and fascism. Friedrich Nietzsche's 1887 book on the genealogy of morality, Ezra Pound's poem The Cantos, and Marcel Proust's novel sequence In Search of Lost Time are all heavily discussed throughout the film. Benito Mussolini's Republic of Saloes depraved elites in prison, rape, murder, and dehumanize a large number of children. It's brutal. Except for a brief theatrical release in Australia, it was banned in the UK, New Zealand, and Australia from 1975 to 2010. The film was banned in Ontario, Canada, but released in limited release in October 1977 in the US. An undercover Cincinnati policeman rented the film from a gay bookstore and arrested the owners in 1994. Pier Paolo Pasolini's murder wasn't random, despite the fact that it occurred before the release of his final film. Many speculate that his assassination was politically motivated, but it's unlikely that we'll ever know for sure. His final film is as depraved, disgusting, and depressing as anything you'll ever see. The saw went on for a good number of years, before some countries got around to banning it. It wasn't until the 6th entry that any country made moves to prevent its wide release, when the sequel was temporarily restricted in Spain and slapped with the Pellicula X rating usually reserved for pornography. The film was required to cut its more violent scenes to get a wider release in Spain. In Thailand, the movie was banned outright, with the very vague reasoning that its release posed a threat, somehow, to public safety. The follow-up picture, alternatively called Saw 3D, Saw 7, or Saw, the final chapter, was banned from public exhibition in Germany for its violence. Some countries banned the Saw after many years. Spain temporarily banned the sixth Saw and gave it the Pellicula X rating, usually reserved for pornography. To release in Spain, the film had to cut its more violent scenes. The film was banned in Thailand for vaguely threatening public safety. Germany banned Saw 3D, Saw 7, or Saw, the final chapter for its violence. On its 1978 release, I Spit on Your Grave was met with vehement criticism. Roger Ebert found it hard to believe it existed because it was so sick, reprehensible, and contemptible. Not only did critics shun the movie for its graphic violence, but so did entire nations. In the 1990s, Canada banned the movie but allowed provinces to decide if they would allow it. Norway, Iceland, and West Germany banned the movie because it supported violence against women, while the UK only allowed it to be released censored. The movie was banned in Australia almost 20 years after its release. 
The movie's ban was lifted in 2004, but Ireland still bans it. This is one of the strangest and most interesting movies ever made by Hollywood. It has been banned in most countries for more than 30 years. It's a look into the lives of a group of sideshow performers in a traveling circus. It's kind of like a soap opera set in a sideshow. This film is still avoided due to its voyeurism. It's a disturbing and ugly film about human prejudice and failings, but also beautiful and moving. Many saw it as a new low in Hollywood depravity and were horrified, but it's a warm and humane look at how physically deformed people cope and a fascinating look at sideshow performers, a world Browning, a former circus snake man, was very familiar with. Freak still got a lot of attention because its main characters were played by people who worked as sideshow performers and had real disabilities. Because of its controversial content, the movie was banned in the UK for more than 30 years, and in Canada, it was called Brutal and Grotesque.